Okay, so the spooktacular fun is underway at the Brookfield Zoo's annual Boo at the Zoo. For the first time, the zoo has added a third weekend of howling good fun. And here in studio with, the, with us this morning, I can't even talk, is zoo curator Tim <laughs> Sullivan to talk about the event and show us some of the creatures you can visit. Good morning. Tell us, first of all, this thing, I, the eyes on this gal, whoo. She yeah. is, Mark, the director keeps telling me to move clo <laughs> closer <laughs> to her. And, uh, but okay, so we're gonna let her sit for a second. But, um, so tell us about the extended. You guys have always done this. It's been, how many years have you been doing this now? Decades. Yeah, you know. I was gonna say, but you, it's usually only two. Only two weekends, and right. And now it's three. It's amazing because it, it keeps growing, right? So that Halloween has become a very popular event. So for that need, we're gonna throw on a third weekend. This Yesterday was awesome, it's gonna be awesome today, so Good. we're really excited about it. And all these animals that we have here today, you can see at the zoo, at you can, okay. yeah, exactly. All the normal activities we have, but the animals will be doing special Halloween chats, boot chats, so look for those. Okay. Yeah, and of course, candy. Oh, right? of course, yeah. <laughs> Gotta have candy, right? We're, we're so excited. Uh, Ferrara uh, Candy Company is our partner Aww. in the three consecutive years. This year alone, they're donating 10,000 pounds of candy. Wow, so you gotta <laughs> go out. Just, just crazy, and their 400 volunteers are great. So come to our candy stations, bring your baskets, yeah. load them up, because there's lots of candy to and be And the had. camera too, right? Exactly. For the kiddos. All right, so tell us about some of the animals we have here. This is a great horned owl that we have here. And what's right. your name, sir? Paul. This is Paul, who's <laughs> hanging on to Athena. Ath Athena, yes. yes. Okay. This is a beautiful great horned owl. This animal is in all the Americas. It's out there hunting with its giant talons. And you mentioned those eyes, which can see in the dark there. They hunt in the night. And they're out there looking for mice and rats and anything they can grab up with those talons and eat and if you notice those she can see probably a hundred times better than we can so and she's breathing right now that's what you said exactly I thought she's getting the ready lights to in the studio right oh. it's, uh, you turn them up and it makes she goes wow this is interesting interesting <laughs> okay and how old is she she's about 10 years old and um, we can't touch her though right she no no she's fine and she's she's a great she was a rescued animal and Aww. so she comes to the zoo and, and educates our guests about the wonders of, of uh, birds like her type of awesome. raptors. all right thanks Paul. thanks Paul thanks you Athena and what do we have next well, here? Well, Jill's coming in with maybe one of the creepier animals for some people. It's a giant cockroach. Okay. Can you, you can see it. <laughs> uh, is it going to jump? It's not going to oh jump God, at I all, yeah. It's like, okay, this species that's... can fly, but this is a nymph. This is a young one. It doesn't, doesn't have wings yet. Uh, it's a beautiful animal. Uh, this animal is from Brazil, and it, you know, like all cockroaches, there's 4,000 different species. Turn this it animal, to that camera. See the red light? Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. There you go. Uh, this animal just kind of thrives on garbage and, and debris and waste, uh, and but you know they can reproduce in the, in the millions. So oh, good. Uh, it's just a, just a giant version <laughs> of uh, the, the 4,000. Right. And and this one, I, I mean, not that I want to touch it, but yeah, it, is it something you can touch at the zoo if you want to? You can. Yeah. Do you want to try? You can just touch it a little bit. Go ahead. Just touch the back. What, just, just the back of it? Yeah. Go ahead. If this thing jumps, I'm going to lose my mind. I'll do it first. Okay, 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 there okay. you go. See? Oh, <laughs> <Maybe not. laughs> holy mother of God. You know what? I'll leave that to you. <laughs> okay, good. I saved you from it. Jill, thank you <laughs> very much. Okay, what do we have next? Well, Maggie's coming in with a caiman lizard. Oh. Yeah, so you can see this animal has this beautiful red face. Uh, mm. Again, this this is an animal that will you know go out there and eat snails. It's a semi-aquatic animal, so okay. it eats lots of uh, uh, animals that are in the water, fish, anything you can catch, uh, but it prefers snails. Uh, Maggie's showing you it's a beautiful lizard. This animal can get up to four feet long. Uh, and How imagine, old is this guy? Uh, just a couple years old, so okay. he's got a little growing to do. Now, can I touch this one too? Yeah, go ahead. What, what's it going to do, anything? I'll, I'll show you again. So we'll just go like that. You just feel okay. those beautiful bumps on its back. This animal great. has great camouflage to help keep it. Yeah. It's an ambush predator, right? Yeah. <laughs> And can you touch that one at the zoo if you go? Yeah, of course. Because I know there's some um, little kiddos out there that love the We've lizards. We've got lots of lizards. Yeah, yes, yeah. certainly. Yes, you can come out and touch them to your heart's content. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks, Very Maggie. much. What's, come on, you guys. Well, Too you know, sweet. we just keep amping it up. You want a creepy creatures? We go with the snake, which is uh, kind of instinctively something people oh. don't like. This is slinky. It's cute, isn't it? <laughs> I'm like sweating right now. Okay, yeah. what's okay, Paul and, and Jill, Jill again? Okay, yes. again. This and, is, uh, she's a boa damn. constrictor. Okay, and how old is she? Uh, about 22 years old. Oh. Yes, it's one of our geriatric snakes. <laughs> Good, maybe she's not. <laughs> yeah, but five foot long. Uh, this animal is all throughout uh, Central and South America. It's an ambush predator. Again, it, it uses oh. its uh, the tongue, go out there sensing for food. Uh, you want to touch it? Go ahead. 
Right here, on the back. It's beautiful. Oh, you feel yeah. smooth it is. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'll find Does its prey. Does it have prey. teeth? It has teeth, but not long fangs. It, it's not a venomous snake, so it's very safe. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it catches its prey, wraps around it, and constricts it, and that's now, how Now, why is it doing it now? Why isn't it constricting these because two? Because it's, it's worse at the zoo. It loves people because it's around people every day. Oh, okay, good. And we give it a nice meal every once in a while, too. Okay. <laughs> what, now, what's it doing with its little tongue there? That's how they sense the, it's like smelling. They, they oh. pick up scent particles from the air, bring it back into their mouth, and that's how they can tell. They can sense where things are coming. Okay. Not to mention they can feel heat as well. Oh, can they sense fear? They can, yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe. <laughs> if, they can, if they can taste it, they can sense and it. And this one is one we can touch at the zoo, you right? You can, okay. yes. Okay. You guys, thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're very serious about that, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't end there, uh, yes. You gotta get the tarantula in, right? The fuzzy spiders. <laughs> why? I think I, I think people are torturing me at my job, no, you know? No. Um, of course, these animals are from Central and South America. They are venomous, but very calm here, as you can see. Uh, the big fangs are hidden a little bit. Uh, those hairs in back are very interesting, though. If they use their legs, they can kind of shoot, it's their fence mechanism, they can shoot them backwards, and it has like a, uh, a chemical on it that can make it irritating, so it can... Now, I shouldn't touch this one, right? Probably not a good idea. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say, yeah, poker. Ma no, Maggie's <laughs> well trained to take care of this animal, but it gives you a, a chance to see how it can move. It has those it's eight really legs cool. and uh, it goes out there and hunts its, its prey as well. I should probably get used to this since I do have a son who I'm sure is going to love animals, so I should probably man up a little, right? <laughs> Tim, it's always great to see you, even uh, though I know here. it's sometimes torture for me, but it's always good to see you guys. You have wonderful people. Thank you guys so much. Thanks to all the animals as well. And this reminder, you can visit Boo at the Zoo today as well as the next two weekends. How fun is that? We're going to have more information on our website, cbschicago.com, a little bit later on today where you can probably see me freaking out through this whole segment.